Hello fellow Corn Kids fanatics, I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and today I have a fresh new film to review, the night in a series that just refused to go away. And the movie I'm talking about is of course, Children of the Corn Runaway. In Runaway we meet Ruth, played by Marcy Miller. She was able to escape the cult of the corn with her unborn baby, and has spent the next decades of her life on the run from place to place with her child Aaron, trying to do whatever she can to go unnoticed and not be found by the cult she left behind her. The life on the run has not been easy on them, not knowing if they will even have a roof over their head the very next day. This and the disturbing childhood Ruth has had has set its toll on her mental state, giving her visions that she is unable to figure out if are real or not. When she and Aaron tries to settle down in a small town, her past starts to haunt her more and more and she becomes unsure if she's going crazy or if the children of the corn has found her and are out to get her and her child. So this is the ninth entry into the Everlasting Children of the Corn series. It's amazing that such a small film like the original has been able to spark so many sequels, as even though I enjoyed the first one, it is not a film held in the highest of regards and none of the film has been big commercial successes. But the franchise is held by Dimension Films, who as with the Hellraiser franchise, seem frightened to let the rights to any of these horror franchises go, even if they put next to none effort into them. I guess I should start with a small rundown of my connection with the Children of the Corn films. Like I said, I do enjoy the first one, and I also think the second one has good enough stuff in it to be enjoyable. I have fond memories of the fourth one, and will stand on it being a good movie, while the remaining entries have been pretty poor, with the last one from 2011, Children of the Corn Genesis, being just awful. Add to the decline in the franchise with the fact that Runaway was directed by John Gulager, a guy I'm not a big fan of, then you can say that I did not have high hopes for this film. But as you should always do with whatever movie you watch, you have to give it a chance, and surprisingly enough, I found Children of the Corn Runaway to not be terrible. In fact, it was almost a good film. I enjoyed how restrained the film was, and how often it gave the movie a time to breathe, letting us just have a moment with the characters, usually Root. There are some great silent moments, where I could feel for Root with no dialogue or events taking place on the screen, and that's a high praise, as Marcy Miller gives the character a pretty rough exterior, making her come off as rough and tough, but still with some vulnerability coming true. The drama aspect of the film was the best part, making me wonder if Gulager perhaps could do a great job with a film that does not play within the horror genre. I mentioned earlier that I'm not a big fan of his work so far, and some of that has to do with his shooting style. I just don't find his movies to be very well shot, and dislike his fondness of handheld cameras when it's not needed. Technically I guess they are well done, as it looks like he's getting what he wants out of his shoots, so it's not like he's not good at what he does, it's just that the style he wants is not something I enjoy watching. There are also some odd changes in the way that some of the characters act, that feel out of place and I'm unsure of the reasoning for some of the choices done with them. Most of the cast though does a respectable job. Miller is great, especially as the film doesn't give her all that much to work with, and I also found Mary Kathleen Bryant to be lovely in her part as the local waitress. Looking out for my job security. No, you're a real sweetheart. Yeah, you're crazy, bitch, you burn me! You burn Jake Ryan Scott, who plays Aaron, is given absolutely nothing to work with at all, but to keep him away from the focus, so the lack of well anything to his character doesn't become an annoyance. The biggest problem with Runaway starts when he wants to be a horror film. The Children of the Corn aspect of it feels like he doesn't belong, and had zero interest in any of that stuff. I would have much more enjoyed this film if it had not taken part in the franchise, as it feels like it doesn't belong there, and the most interesting part was the struggle that Ruth was going through due to her taking part in these macabre events when she was young. And I understand that the kids from the original town would be mad at someone escaping them, but why would they spend the next 15 years hunting them down, and not grow up to be adults themselves in the process? That part is pretty much left unexplained, at least from what I could gather. The lack of interest in the horror part of the film left the final part of it to be quite dull for me as I was not engaged in this film at all, and there wasn't much in this execution to keep me interested. Children of the Corn Runaway is a surprise to the franchise. Compared to the last five films, this is a step in the right direction. That being said, the good parts of Runaway are the parts that are not connected to the Children of Corn story at all. If you want a new film with kids killing their parents in the name of the Corn Cult, then Runaway is not for you. If you can ignore the previous entries and are willing to just sit through a decent new film and look past his name, then Runaway is not a bad choice, but nothing you should go out of your way to see. 
Children of the Corn Runaway was overall ok, and as such it deserves a score of 2.5 out of 5. Have you seen Children of Corn Runaway yet? If so, what did you think of it and how would you rank it compared to the previous entries in the franchise? And where do you want the franchise to go next? More of these low budget films, a bigger budget remake, or let the kids just rest and bury it for some years? Let me know about it in the comment section below, like, subscribe and all of that stuff, and remember to stay away from kids who has a fascination with cornfields. Thank you.